few red apples falling from the same tree they're all wondering why one skin is green cuz i can't put no coins in your cup cuz i'm still trying to work my way up and never meant to show you no love but this can't be about you this can be about you you gotta let me go gotta let the spur flow make it fast not slow it's the path i chose feel it in my soul and i'm so thankful oh 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 oh, oh. you gotta let me go gotta let the spur flow make it fast not slow it's the path i chose feel it in my soul and i'm so thankful Oh, 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 I'm here by the skin of my teeth And you can't keep tugging my sleeve uh, What I make we can't eat This just can't be about you This can't be about you You gotta let me go Gotta let the fur flow Make it fast, not slow It's the path I chose Feel it in my soul And I'm so thankful Peace, family. Welcome to another episode of Underground Railroad Productions. This your host, Brother Rich. In the at UGR Studios, Black Magic Studios with the red and the blue. Cheer. Purple yes. like Prince. Y'all just Prince. had that performance, Prince. man. Yes. And uh speaking of performances and I'm on a hundred percent. And speaking Sit. of and speaking of rap music, man, all over social media. They talking about this whole uh, Nicki Minaj Fox. Not, I'm sorry, Nicki Minaj. Um, Remy Remy Ma broke the internet, bro. Remy Ma, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's all over the internet, and I especially want to do this interview with y'all because Blue has interviewed Remy and Nicki Minaj in the past, so um, he could bring some clarity to this issue as as well. As far as the psychology that goes behind it. the first, I want to start out with you know not long, but I want to start out with. It's real weird, man. It's it seems to be that there could only be one female in the game. There's millions of females all over the world. There's thousands of rappers. Everybody trying to get on, but for some reason, there's like one or two females that could only be on at the same time. So it's like, yo, why can't these females coexist in the rap game, man? Why can't there be two queens? Why can't there be two females, three females, four females holding it down? There's always like one or two. So it's like, what's up? And, and that goes into the whole competitive nature of females. You know, growing up, we hear girls say, I ain't got no female friends. Fuck bitches. I hang with niggas. You know what I'm saying? You hear that all the time. I don't know if that ties into this dynamic. But talk to me about this, uh, this whole thing with, with, no, with there only being a few females in a game at, at one time. I, I you know, touch yeah. on this briefly because I know you're going to go in all the way up. We spoke about this before when we talked about the air of competition or when we touched on the fact that society has always been uh, prepped or, you know, reared to always look for the one. If you were to show me a society that wasn't built on the competition or the law duality, the fact that there always will be the protagonist and there always is the antagonist but at the end of the day people are looking for the victor they're looking for the one all right religion supports that sport supports that your hip hop culture supports that economics support that uh politics supports that i could go on for days society you know what i'm saying supports that you know everyone wants to be that bitch so, so why would rap be any difference if this is mainly a sport built on braggadocio and built on a competitive nature of, no, they follow the precedent. Two niggas can't sit on the thrones. I don't understand what the Kanye and Jay shit was about anyway. Shit. Okay? Only one on the throne. Only one on the throne. So keep in mind, always know that when you see... The game of chess and the analogy that they say that that's the game of life on a chessboard. How many queens are there? No, there's two. There's two. One white, one black. And there can only be one. So 
This will always play out in life. Okay? It will always play out. So the fact that there's only one, you goddamn it, how many Game of Thrones is there? It's only one. And the last time I checked, they don't want lap dances when they're sitting on the throne. That's not what all set wants. She's going to sit on that throne by herself. She doesn't want to lap dance. It's just her alone. She'll do that later on. But nah, this is the game of life. So that queen it wants to be queen. You tell Beyonce that there's another queen around. Adele is a ah, okay, because she's coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, you tell Beyonce that Adele is the queen. <laughs> she's an ah. Uh, this record coming soon. Exactly. Subliminals all day. Subs. So what you see taking place is, you know, hip hop at its finest, you know, fulfilling its commitment to always search for who? The one. The one. There's many ones in the industry or in this game, you know, but what we saw was the one come forward and say, nah, you're not Neo. You're not Trinity. I am. You dig what I'm saying? And as you can see, you know, you can see what happened. All right? I mean, the jury is out. But, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, it's a unanimous decision that there's a body on the floor. So you could die in the matrix. Okay? She got body bagged and wrapped in plastic. Big pun intended. You understand? So she went after this plastic, artificial aspect of everything supposedly that's wrong in hip-hop at this particular time. The advent and the age of Ghost Riders. You know what I'm saying? This, um, you know, I'm, I'm modeling myself after somebody and coming in the game without no originality. You understand? Nicki Minaj took out all of her predecessors. She took Little Kim out. She took Foxy out. You feel me? When she actually modeled herself after these people and borrowed their style. You know, quietly, she, nobody ever really acknowledged Remy Ma as being a progenitor of a particular style that somebody would even bite and run with. You feel me? But she 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 can't be overlooking in regards to uh you know what I'm saying? Because she was unfairly removed from from Society. Her society, from, from her game, from her, from her, from her, her pursuit. Of hold on, her throne. pursuit of the throne. She was unfairly removed from that particular pursuit. So this is a chip she's always living with. You feel me? The precedent has already been set in New York. There can only be one. That was set from the dudes. Women don't control hip hop, unfortunately. The brothers do. The guys do. So if they set the precedent, everybody's gonna follow that precedent. That precedent. It might not be the same regionally in other places we talk in new york hip-hop okay because onika's from queens and remy mars from the boogie you understand so irregardless of where she goes globally in terms of an artist she's always reminded of the new york dictates look bitch there can only be one you know what i'm saying i let you sit on that throne and warm it up long enough i'm already head hunting because the rules are the rules. Now you're giving me a reason to? And you doing Pat Uwe layups with my name in your mouth? Oh, hell no. I'm smashing. You feel me? And she got, you know what I'm saying? So now this is about also it comes down to the level of, well, like who's, who's your tag team? Who's your ghostwriter? You feel me? She got, she, she. She benefits from horizontal gene transfer from being around Pat Poos. You know what I'm saying? We can't tell if he wrote the bars or not, even though I heard Pat in that diss. I heard him in there. But you feel me? DNA response. She's swapping right. DNA, so we don't even know if that shit is reconfiguring her bestiality in terms of how she get down on the microphone. She got a team. You know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj has isolated herself from her Ghost Riders or her right hand or her dude or what have you. So if she's laying with a dude and this nigga catching L's consecutively, that's his career. 
You feel me? And she swallowing that motherfucking DNA up. You understand? She got whack juice on her as well. So the cleanup is in process. Is in, you know what I'm saying? Like the brother said, the jury is out. And um, this makes for an interesting conversation in hip hop because it's they they billing it as the real versus the fake. You know what I'm saying? And this is the the real's opportunity to make a comeback and save some of these little girls. That's an interesting way to look at it. Another way to look at it is this. We just came from a very interesting lecture that has recalibrated my DNA. And I wasn't even in the whole lecture because I was doing so many things at the Dr. Valentine lecture. But he talked about how they alter how they alternate reality how they are creating alternative realities that we all exist in and how the use of mandela effect is not something that happened just you know a few times with Sh uh, shazam and sinbad okay and other things no it keeps happening case in point fake news is so fake that they got you feeling like remy ma's diss track was the first launch against Nicki Minaj not saying, and this is where the news comes in, this is where authenticity, this is what Donald is talking about, fighting the fake news. She was responding to the first diss track. Why don't they talk about that? Why don't they say that Nicki Minaj dropped a song the day before that there was a diss track, blatant diss track. You might as well had said the name. Stop fucking playing. Yeah, a whole song for the, the whole subs. Song, the, whole bar, the whole verse with the Gucci Man song. She went at her with a limp arm. What comes after that? Like I said, I, that, that was the Pat Yui layup. And, and, and at war, we're strategizing right now. We're talking stratagem. At war, you don't make, you bomb first like Pac said. You don't make, it's but so many subliminals a nigga can throw. Yeah. Yo, you know, like, this is how they do it in the community. Yo, I was just saying, niggas love the camera. It's two of them with copper crowns. They copper brown. But I'm not talking about red and blue, though. It's my man's in them. But you know. I ain't talking about them niggas, nah, though. Them niggas, though. You know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the community <laughs> shit. Yeah. That's that fuckboy shit. So what I'm saying is this, all is fair in war, love and hip hop, huh? It's a different place. I live in the Bronx. Knowledge to God, we did the interview in front of the Bronx Zoo. I told you, listen, there's something about the Bronx that I'm beginning to realize and appreciate and really give some fucking credit to. I was born in the Bronx. We was raised in Brooklyn. Okay, but there's a Bronx energy that has a it's level primal. of realness and primal, primal. The shit that New York, the a vestige of New York that is compl that is being fucking erased on the daily. You're, you're remember they're erasing our code. Translation. Go and watch Phil's lecture for the a one thousand degree on that one. But they're changing our. They're erasing it day by day. Bronx is one of those last vestiges. We just did a we did a, a powerful lecture with Chess and Show Off, opening up and closing for Fear of a Black and More Messiah, two Black and More Messiah, Young Chess, okay, and Show Off, all right, two warriors. Chess is from the Bronx. Remy's from the Bronx. Red is blue is from the Bronx. You understand? My son is from the Bronx. Um P is from the Bronx. There's a resurgence taking place. Swiss Beats, who Swiss. remember, he was the story of the night. With what? They, there's an energy that's cooking in New York right now. So the story, the um, Swiss Beats and Just Blaze inter, uh, Instagram. He, he bodied Just Blaze, by the way. And I was there live. Listen, live Instagram, 15,000. Diddy is in there, Khaled is in there. Or every T.I. is in there. Everybody's in the chat. Live time. We all going in, clowning. You know what I'm saying? He shift the energy. You see it? Because at first, just had him. I think Alicia came in the building with no makeup on. He went in his bag. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the winner? Who's the winner of the weekend? Who gets donkey of the weekend? The winner of the weekend is Ebro. 
with the strong arm. He was holding the camera. He was at the Swiss Beats battle. Then the next day, he was at the battle. Legend, legend. Okay, he gets the dunk. He gets the um, the uh, the Ferrari horse of the week. <laughs> but keep in mind, this whole thing was a buildup. I'm looking at everything that's going on right now. I'm like, yo, shit is heating up. The rap, the New York shit is, re there's a reemergence of an energy in NY that's crazy. And, you know, I'm, all, I'm also seeing what's in the near future. You know what I mean? So it's the changing of the guard. This is the year of the underdog. I want you motherfuckers to understand what's taking place around you. Everybody who was the underdog, who was counted out, who they turned their backs on, who they slept on, the narcoleptic slept on them, they the ones that's kicking in the door waving the 4-4. Facts. Donald Trump being the biggest underdog who washed you niggas. 44 president. Huh? This nigga still drowning in the Oroville Dam. Can't motherfucking come up for air. Because he washed them. Because we saw him with Hillary shirts on. And they can't come back from that. Shrat. They went pro everything. Okay. So, yeah, like, let's not even leave out Jay-Z in regards to, you know what I'm saying, the moves that he was making. We're talking about the resurgence of a particular New York energy putting itself at the peak. You got Migos, you got Future making a run for, you know what I'm saying, ATL dominance in regards to chart-wise. And you got Drake coming. It's interesting, like I said, when I talk about the procession of the equinox and how it applies to hip hop, you know, hip hop is governed over uh, by Polaris, which is the North Star. It's a fixed star. So nothing outside of the Bronx ever li literally sat on the throne of hip hop, what is considered the king of hip hop, until Draco or Drake, you know what I'm saying? The Draco uh, was shifted from Polaris to Draco, and then you had Drake. Right. Beyond the north. OK. In Canada, sitting on the throne, DMX had to come to the Bronx. The locks had to come to the Bronx. Everybody, nobody past the Bronx ever sat on the throne. From White Plains or something. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ever can go past the Bronx is the only part of New York City that's connected to the continental United States. Everything else is an island. You understand? So there's an energy that flows through the Bronx that's unprecedented. This is the, the home, the birthplace of hip hop. You understand? So you're talking about a global culture, a trillion dollar global culture that was created in the slums, the residue. You feel me? The mud, the burnt out buildings of the BX. The ashes, so, the phoenix. Yeah, like it rose from the ashes. Of what was done to the Black and More Messiahs during Cointel Pro, the war on poverty, and these other things, the in the um, intentional drug, uh, f the flooding of opium and opiates by the mafia that people are trying to hold up, and some of these snitches who are government agents, all of them work for the boys, all the way down to Pablo Escobar, like his son just revealed. Facts. Okay. So even with all that being said. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you sitting high in your ivory tower, now's not the time to be throwing stones at people that's really fucking, their stomach is hurting and they feeling it. And that's Remy Ma. And she just so happens to be from the BX, so she can't let it slide. And that's what we've seen. We've seen somebody who's removed from their environment that's a little bit too more comfortable. Like I said, she's shooting starter pistols outside of the police precinct. They came outside with the Draco and Swiss cheese though. Draco sees in the book bag. That's what we seen. You feel me? Like, if you're going to go, go all out. You ain't like, no bitch you know what I'm saying? No subs. To be, I'm shooting at your head. Headshots. You dead, bitch. So, it's unfortunate, but that's hip-hop. That's what we've always seen. That's what people show up for. You understand? That's what we show up for. And yeah, Drake dropped two albums. Ain't nobody talk. I mean, Future dropped two albums. People ain't talking about that back to back. You feel me? It's not enough... It's not enough of that energy involved. People want to see blood. You know what I'm saying? That's what they showing up for. And it's a motherfucking body on the floor right now. It's that fight or flight. Yurt. So, to close it out, um, in terms of Blue mentioned in the beginning, you know, it's 
the real versus the fake. When you look at Nicki Minaj and in the record, you may be referring to Pat Poos attributing, um, contributing to the record when he, when Remy started talking about black girls and what Nicki did to the black girls as far as promoting the fake ass and all of that and plastic and all of that. Do you do do, do you blame that more on? Black men or black women? Because black women is looking more fake than they have ever looked my entire life. Between the the hair hats and the and the eyelashes and the fake asses and just fake pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. Do you think that because men are so accepting of that and they gravitate toward that, is that the reason? Because um, uh, blue in the last interview we did, I forgot who he was talking about. You was saying how it's pretty much uh, what you were saying how they 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 uh. They wear they they straighten the hair to, to for for beauty standard purposes or whatever. How how did you say that? Yeah, I'm saying that you know a woman is always gonna accentuate herself to be chosen to be chosen or, or, or you know what I'm saying to be favored. To be, she yeah, doesn't right. choose it, so be, but she still wants to be because favored, we're the hunters, so, so they 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 yeah. to get yeah right. So they're not gonna be doing anything that I feel that's gonna be outside of the standards of what a man would say, yo, that's acceptable. I fucks with that. So who you do know you, what I mean? Do, do you think it's um, a, a but thing? But I can't really account for where the, where the fake booties came from. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. our women were always looked at as voluptuous. Mm -hmm. But then dudes started shifting energy towards the Brazilian shorties. Right. The exotics at that going, place. Going okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And 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 you know like, outside of Cherokee to ass, it's not too many shorties that could compete with some of that stuff that was coming out of Brazil. Right, right. Because you that couldn't tell. Yeah, that yeah. was that wave. So then once certain things start changing, it, it just became a conclave. You know what I mean? Foxy and Kim, going you back know, to what, what we're seeing with Nikki and... But even Randy. like... Hold on. Go ahead. Like... Kim never really got butt shots like that. But what did Kim do in the in the, in the turn? Where what is, where is Kim at right now? Okay, so what in, happened in, to her, Kim, in her face? Yeah, all right. So what happened to Kim, right, is a little bit different. Yes, because we could talk more. We we could make the case of you know certain kind of other some, some kind of other issues that maybe what you know maybe taking place. But we yeah, that's but psychological. That's but, psychological then, but then that's still reflected out on many other sides. There, there's women who don't like the shape of their ass. You know what I mean? Or the, it's not curvaceous enough because they may be watching Cherokee, or they may be watching Roxy Reynolds, or they may be. You know what I mean? Because as we all know, without it even being you know a requirement, strip culture became popular culture. You feel me? And everybody adapted to it. So with that um, being the, you know, it started with the Nelly video with white chocolate. And we're just talking about the progression Buffy. of it, of the normalization Pinky. once before it became popular culture. Twerking tipped it over to make it popular culture. Martha Stewart is pulling up twerking videos while she's cooking and shit. You know what I mean? Like, for, so. Real quick. And mm -hmm. a lot of strippers have complained on camera that. They had to get the big asses implants because they wasn't getting paid in the strip club. So I have heard yeah, that a lot. But I'm just at yeah, because I do want to, you know, agree. I'm agreeing with which I was talking about earlier that this is about supply and demand. You know what I mean? This is it's it's all coming from a financial standpoint, capitalistic mind state. You know what I mean? It's all it's all fueled and controlled by you know the bottom line or the bottom dollar. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line being, do what it takes. You know, to get that 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 dollar, right? So you turn your body into an ATM. You know what I'm saying? It's been co-signed, meaning that, like Phil said, the man leads. You know, he's the protector. You feel me? He's the one who says, "This is the plan. This is how we gonna do it." So he's like, "Yo, this is how we gonna do it. Y'all gonna sell the box." You feel me? We're going to buy it. You know what I mean? An agreement to have to. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to ship it overseas. We're, you sell the box, we'll buy it. And that's how. That's the arrangement that people have taken place. It's been supported through the MCs who are the influencers. Like she said, she's influencing the young girls to do what it is to be done. She's the queen. 
she's the most successful she was the one that got pushed the furthest she was celebrated they added a reward system and a value system to her whole body being made up or not you know what i mean being surgically designed enhanced, and yeah. enhanced and the kim kardashian the the keeping up with the Kardashians started that race. Keep up with these bitches. They gone. Look at her. Stomach gone. Ribs gone. You understand? Bruce is Caitlyn. So it, it, it was about plastic surgery with the whole family. Hold on. That's the whole thing about the underlying foundation of keeping the Kardashians. Up, yeah. Keeping up with the Kardashians the lips. is about... Plastic surgery, nip tuck. At the end of it all, it's, it's deeper than just plastic surgery. It's remember, about yeah. Because remember, she spoke about Anna Nicole. A lot of this shit started back then. Back then, exactly. When Anna when the Nicole. women became infatuated with their the original seed that was planted, which was Marilyn Monroe. So Anna Nicole came, you know what I'm saying, and they started emulating her. And that's where the Kim and the Foxies from the from the Pamela Andersons to the Anna Nicole, they wanted to be everything but black or look at a, a idol figure you know what i'm saying they ain't want to be dorothy dandridge no they ain't want to be Nina none Simone. of that they want to be they nah i'm saying yeah. they don't even identify that as beauty i'm talking about in terms oh, of the with their yeah the debutants their beauty yeah. standards because they came and they already set a precedent they already smutted the game out when kim and, when kim and foxy because came look, out early hold kim on was hold i just want to add on early kim was one of our beauty debutantes. She had the shortcut. Remember, early Kim, before the surgery? Yeah, junior Mafia Kim. She yeah. had that original beauty, that old school. Yeah, go ahead. But she told us in an interview that she didn't consider that beauty because that beauty standard that she was emulating was getting backhanded by dudes that was like, bitch, you know what I'm saying? You ain't shit. Fuck you. So she didn't get the, she didn't get the love at home from her father. You know what I'm saying? And when she went into the streets, dude smothered and dogged her out. And then, you know, when we was going on the club scenes or what have you, the standards, things started changing. What dudes was going for, what they was choosing, it was totally different. You know what I'm saying? They're aiming their focus. So that shit started filtering. We don't know what she got exposed to. We don't, want, we don't know what Diddy party she got invited to. But like I said, the, 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 the main thing in the back of their minds is yo Marilyn Monroe is the beauty standard and then like I said they had a modern day example of it and Anna Nicole for a period of time and then they had Pamela Anderson and they started lightly introducing the enhancements and what have you this is how you do it when you get real money bitch you go Hollywood you know what I'm saying you get your Botox you get your nip tuck you get your this you get your that it was out of their focus and then it was compounded like I said by the fact that when the sex aspect thing really got introduced, which was I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and blame Foxy and Kim for it, but they exasperated it. You know what I'm saying? They opened the door and the energy to it where it became promoted and mainstream. The people are always gonna follow the dictates of the music. There's nothing more powerful than the music. You know what I'm saying? Because the music influenced the thinking and the thought. So the little girls that are seeing her are growing up to say, well, this is the standard. Take it in the buns. Yeah, yes, what? So how, I mean, they were still taking penis in the buns back then. It wasn't take dildos in the buns. So how they jump from that to something else? You understand? So it was a whole process and a procedure. And I've always identified, and like I said, these, these women of, I would say, the Nicki Minaj generation, which is the second or third generations of what the little Kims and the Foxies have influenced or what have you. They emulate what? They emulate GMO seeds. Okay? They emulate GMO seeds. They emulate a generation that has been raised specifically from the age 0 to 7 and from 7 to 14 and from 14 to 21 off of plastic food, right? Or designer foods. You know what I'm saying? So if you are what you eat, if they're eating plastic and someone comes along and they put a call out where my Barbie's at and they all respond and they grew up off of that as well. You know what I'm saying? It's not hard to see how they had made this connection. And if if you're a scientist, if you're a social engineer, you want to sit back and see has your plan finally arrived. You feel me? And now you got, quote unquote, sisters getting shots in the ass and they're getting breast um. 
you know what I'm saying, implants and all of this and all of that, when they're naturally voluptuous, it's like, oh, we got them. You know what I'm saying? We are finally on track to where we want it to be. And there's no more prized possession in the minds of our women. You understand? So Nicki Minaj, when she came along, man, she was so effective and efficient for the machine. You know what I'm saying? And she was showered and praised and rewarded for everything that she put forth in terms of that level of imagery. Because it was a facade to begin with. She wasn't having menages. And she wasn't really even into women like that. She had a dude. And he was like, or she was like, yo, we don't even smash like that because I'm too busy. I ain't even into it like that. You know what I'm saying? X, Y, and Z. So her nature wasn't even freakish. And then, I mean, to even show you the whole mentality of the game, they bugging because she went on record and mentioned a few names. This is a good girl. She got like four dudes on the hit list. She ain't Rihanna. You understand? So she's not even living up to her moniker of Lewinsky. Or she might have gave Wayne some top or Drake some box or what have you. Come on now. You mentioned um, Bruce Jenner earlier. Or what, what's his new name? Caitlyn. 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 <laughs> do, you, do, <laughs> do you think when you, when you look at the, you know, this plastic culture with our woman, do you think that... Um, assisted the rise of the drag queen culture because when you look at the way women dress it's like a i heard a lot of women say it's like a drag queen look mm -hmm. it's not like a regular weave it's like the whole a lace front it don't it don't it don't look natural at all the eyelashes the 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 fakeness and everything it's almost like a drag queen look according to what i'm hearing people saying so it's like they made it so easy for the caitlin jenners and the rupaul show to blow up and the and the, and the uh, drag queens to pretty much you know compete with women out here where you see dudes walking down the street with you know drag, dudes dressed like women like it ain't drag, nothing. drag queens are setting the beauty standards at this particular point deep deep they are the ones that are you know the beating the face and all of that. All of this is drag queen terminology. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, even sit back and understand the psychology of when a man wants to become a woman. Why does he never want to become a dignified woman? Quote, unquote. You know what I'm saying? Like, why the image of when a man becomes a woman always looks like that? The extreme. A quote, unquote, a quote, unquote, tramp. And I don't mean to be disrespectful to any women out there. I'm just saying, like, take a look at what the fuck that, you know what I'm saying? When a man wants to become a woman, why does they choose to become that woman? You know what I'm saying? Why don't they become Erica Badu or Janelle Monet and shit like that? Hmm. You understand? Why is it the same thing all the time? So even the transvestite has a totally twisted idea of what a woman is to emulate that. You know what I'm saying? But we live in a twisted society, period, when they're going to tell you that just because a man... Right? Those on a wig and some lipstick, that that's a woman now. He still has his genitals. You feel me? And he has a mental conflict in regards to saying, oh, I've always felt like a woman. But what the fuck? That makes you a woman now? You know what I'm saying? You just cross-dressing. That's all you do? You playing, yeah. You doing, you, 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 you doing this, the shit the, little, the dudes was doing when they put the pumps on. What the fucking dress? Now, little Joey, that's a woman? He's Janelle all of a sudden? Because he put the pumps on and the wig? So what the fuck difference is Caitlyn? They playing y'all. You feel me? They playing you right now. Like, I don't know. If, if it's trannies at the top of the fucking Illuminati pulling the strings, I have no idea. Trying to conform this shit to what their ideals are. But God damn it, it's somebody putting fucking Kool-Aid in the mix. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even the regular sugar no more. It's accelerate. What, what's that shit called? Um, <laughs> what's that fake sugar? What's that fake sugar? Aspartame. Aspartame. They putting aspartame in the mix. It ain't even sugar in the water no more. It's aspartame. Like, aspartame. So, it, it's, it's the, the, the standards have gotten out of control because, you know what I'm saying? It has jumped the shark. That's the terminology that they use in media. It's out of control. You understand? It's out of fucking control. So, you know, uh, we, we could appreciate what, what, what Remy had to do in that regards. You know what I'm saying? To put shit on blast. She might have saved one of these little girls' lives in regards to waking somebody 
up or pointing, you know, certain things out and having them open their eyes. You know what I'm saying? This is the same conversation that we was having when we was talking about dip dipset um Jimmy and Cam. If you listen to the conversation, you find out that the whole shit was fabricated. You know what I'm saying? Think about how many people went to jail on the strength for that. Yo, this is the realest shit ever. This is coming out of NY. These dudes is about about it or what have you. It was fabricated. Someone was like, I'm just a basketball player that sold a little, you know what I'm saying? I, I started selling drugs after I became a rapper. I was couch surfing. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of these dudes, Mace and all of them, they was all murder rhymes or what have you. You know what I'm saying? Catching body this, catching body. Nobody was doing that. So this whole aspect of where we have built the, 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 the bond, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the throth, what's the shit the horses eat from? The, the trough, the trough that they fucking eat from, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's like the shit that they now feeding the cows. They feeding the cows cows. That's not even real food no more. So the trough that the people are eating from, right, to build themselves up and build their character, because like I said, people are taking their instructions from the music. I don't give a fuck what you say. Hmm. I've been incarcerated. I've been around these little niggas hmm. who was like, oh, I learned to cook up by listening to this song. You got 35 years right now, though. You know what I'm saying? And you was never really about that life. You came from a two-parent home where they made over $100,000. You ain't have to sell weight. You felt like you had to sell weight because that was part of the culture. And that shit is taking place everywhere across this country, and it's been taking place. And it's now it's going to continue because they're going to listen to the future, and they're going to be like, yo, I need to drink some lean just in order to... Uh, nigga, I want to drink some... <laughs> some perks... I don't have to drink lean or take perks. All I got to do is listen to the future. I'm high by listening to this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I can't help it. I'm drawling this shit. <laughs> like my whole faculty gets like, I got to throw on some Valentine to balance that shit out. But if a little nigga don't have that to balance it out, at some point or another, and I've been around, like, I'm not just talking shit to be saying, yo, I'm just saying something to be heard. I have ear hustled conversations on trains and in streets and in places of, like, where we do our business at and these little dudes come around and they be talking that, yo, son, son had, he poured up a four and a pint of this and it. And you looking at these little niggas like, for real? You feel me? Like. They have been induced to try this shit out just based on the fact that now it's part of the culture. So they sipping and they on the pills and what have you. And they don't even come from that. They don't have no pain for them to numb this that serious. They just on the drugs just because they like, I want to rap like these niggas. I want to listen to the music differently. This is what's going on in these streets. So all this shit is being built off fabrication and we're losing our children to it based on entertainment. Based on the fact that these niggas want the bag, they chasing the bag. Yo, I seen, you know what I'm saying? I seen Jamie Day get the 125 million. Them niggas is going all out, coming from where they came from. They will sell you and your mama down the river to the point where, like I say, even Future saying, oh, that's not even my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fabricating that shit and cooking it up on wax because I got to get these niggas what they want. Because my heart is broke. I'm bruised because this bitch told me I was broke and that's why she left. So I got to do whatever I got to do to make sure I'm not in that situation. I got to dig myself out the grave. If your babies is the ones that I'm stepping on, so be it. You understand? So you got the situation the same way with Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? Same way. This what I got to do to get on, to get out of my situation? Then so be it. If I got to drag a million of you bitches along with me, then so be it. Okay, when I met her, yeah, she was SpongeBob. She was SpongeBob. Like, and again, that's that's just that's just the voyeur aspect of hip hop that you're gonna sit back and allow that shit to happen. Like you niggas ain't see her transformation enough to speak on it to be like, nah, what are you doing? No, everybody went along with it. They was voyeurs. They watched it. They watched it. They watched her with the Roman uh, uh Polanski nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm possessed. That's cool. We, we, when, when the fuck we was doing that in hip hop? Bitch, you possessed? The fuck is you talking about you possessed? You understand? But this shit was cute because she had a fatty. And that shit is hypnotic. You understand? It's hypnotic. 
So she had the whole world leaning. You know what I'm saying? Until, you know, the truth of the matter is it's a fabrication. It's a facade. And at some point, your bubble gets burst just like her fatty got burst. Leave your contact info, brothers. Nah, they coming for me on this one. I ain't putting... <laughs> I want y'all to go to iTunes and go pull up Know the Ledge. The app will be ready for download. So that's the first, you know, that's an announcement. But um, find us on iTunes under Know the Ledge and download the app. All right? Peace. Yeah, Blue Pillar 44 on IG. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, at the end of it, at the end of the day, because it is entertainment and unfortunately, that's what gets our motors going. Like, that's what we show up for as a quote-unquote people. Not saying red and the blue. That's what the people show up for. You know what I'm saying? We are all feeding off the trough of entertainment and hip-hop. That's what we collectively communicate as a people on. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to know where we at and shit going viral and everybody's showing up, it's for the entertainment. So, if we want to look at it like that, yeah, this is good for hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? It's good for hip-hop. Not only is it the entertainment, but it's the Coliseum. You might, you might. It's the Coliseum. What are you talking about? I'm saying this. The same way that the movie Gladiator showed you that there's a stage with a group of people on that stage. There's many different stages. We just was watching the NFL stage recently where there was a group of people, gladiators, who came together, and it could only be one, right? There was an MVP, and then there was a winning team. And they were watched by billions of people in that stadium, right? Calling for either their victory or their head. And then they went to battle. You saw tonight at the Oscars, they went to battle. You saw at the All-Star game, they went to battle. You watched debates. They get in there, they go to battle. What is the YouTube section? The YouTube section is the Coliseum. <laughs> That's the Coliseum. I'm just here for the comments. Because mob rules, I'm just here for the comments. I'm trying to figure out what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? How they feeling today? Did she die? The brother got a hip, he got a um, knowledge of God. Hip hop is real. Shout out to hip hop is real. Shout out to hip hop is real. Shout out to Kid Light Productions. He covers the battle rappers. I was telling Chess the other day in the car, you're the most dangerous things to a mumble rapper, just your existence. Because if you ever decided to turn those guns and end the fuckery in one night, bodies will drop. Because the battle rapper in this hip hop culture, in this arena, on that stage, I don't give a fuck what they over there doing. They're going to eventually have to face themselves in the mirror. And the person, the angel of death, the one who brings the ether is the battle rapper. Anytime any of these rappers caught bodies in the realm where we all agree to in hip hop was in a battle rap mode. Facts. Niggas had to go in a killer mode. You understand? They had to go, fuck that. I'm going to be number one. I'm going all out. You understand? And then they and then they competed and they and, and the and the, the the people were pleased. You understand? The Coliseum was pleased. Yeah. They got No no, go ahead. They caught their body, they said kill them, heads come off, fatality. You know what I'm saying? You holding up your head. You know what I mean? You holding up your MVB trophy, you holding up your Heisman, you niggas was holding up your WWF belts. And just, you know, there's also a point that we want to point out, you know, with the advent, we live in a time of fake news, but there's also what we're experiencing is weak journalism. Like, what happened to the fucking hip-hop blogs used to be hip-hop blogs? Like, hip-hop journalism is weak because, like the brother said, nobody even pointed out, and we're talking hip-hop here, so, you know, if this ain't your thing, you feel me, don't, don't pull your panties out. We're talking hip-hop, so... It wasn't even mentioned that, yeah, Remy was a response to what Nicki tried on a song with Gucci, where Gucci was responding to Waka. Yeah. You understand? So they not even putting them pieces together that these dudes is beefing. These dudes done fell out and they trading subliminals on these tracks. 
You feel me? So the hip hop literacy in terms of what people actually know about what's going on is low. You know what I'm saying? Do you know 22 ran down on 21? <laughs> I know all this, and I can tell you with the seven planets that they found, how that shit was fucking, you know, I was involved with the Law 44. So, you know, Trappist, you know, Trappist when Future came out, you know what I'm saying? The, the reassert itself in terms of the trap god. He's a trap R&B god as well, we found out. You understand? So... I mean, there's a lot going on, and I think that we take a lot of pleasure with not just being entertained by these elements of, you know, our existence, because everything's connected, but finding a way to put all of the pieces together. You know what I'm saying? Nobody lives in a vacuum. There's something that can always be learned and extract from these situations. And um, I'm waiting for somebody to write the hip hop 48 Laws of Power, because they're giving you all sorts of material to work with. You feel me? Like, there's so many do's and don'ts, like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, at the end of the day, there's lessons to be learned. She pointed out so many things. It was just real talk. I think as a people in this era that we live in, we just looking for that facts, not the alt facts. Okay? Because we see what this falsehood, this false reality, this matrix what is Donald Trump and his whole thing reflecting? Because it's not the original. It's not bringing it about. It's not. It was already fucking there. It's just reflecting it like a mirror for a lot of other people to see. Like the movie Get Out. Shout out to KT. I can't wait for that decoding. Facts. You know, people want to see the, the fuckery stop. People are hurting. People want to just have realness come back. She said to this to um, Nicki Minaj, when I before I got or when I was locked up, you was rooting for me. I remember that. But when I come home, you ain't even you felt you you were so arrogant, or you felt that nobody noticed, or your obligations didn't fucking allow you to. Or you just had so much shit on your itinerary, you never shouted me out. You never sent me a bag. You never uh, uh, offered to be like, you invited me. Listen, let's do a comeback verse, girl. I got this hook. You understand? You feel me? It goes with the, the, the state greens, hair, hair, shit. I lost my weave. I lost my... <laughs> and she killed it with the slow re re flow. It's important what's going on right now. Y'all got to remember, Remy Martin is the mother of that re re shit that these shorties be on. It's not fucking Nikki. She's the one that got... She's the one that originated shorties that talk like this. What beat? Say, yo. Man, I'm telling you, son. And they start clapping. I'm telling you, son. boy. Boy. I will kill you, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, like, the progenitor of that. What, son? <laughs> she you might know. have been the first shorty so, to call nigga son. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know. Remember that. The memory short. Yeah, like the memory that shit, short that in New MMA York. Energy. Like, and that's an interesting thing, too. We'll talk about that as well. Because, like we said, there will be a battle for the top. Shorty is coming. So, you know, remember, Remy is an architect of an archetype that, st that has, not, o not only does it still exist, it's kind of mixed in with that Barbie shit, but it's really secretly at war with that shit. That is that, uh, you know, I don't fuck with that fake shit. I don't fuck with these fake chicks. I don't fuck with that fake everything, fake da-da-da. There's a natural movement that's the polar opposite to that fake shit. It exists. It's big. And they're their sisters who they fuck with that more than they fuck with the fake shit that's right in the middle. They'll, yeah, they'll throw some shit in whenever they throw a piece on. They got clip-ons and everything. They, they got the drone, send it to them. Yo, send me the piece. <laughs> <laughs> the silky, the silky. Amazon drone. <laughs> got Amazon drone sending them silkies. <laughs> All that. But on, in real time. Yeah, real time. <laughs> Google Earth, but <laughs> Google Earth Uber the peace, <laughs> Uber from India, so it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It really doesn't matter. You know, I I respect the air of battling. 
I rocks with the hip hop battle community, hard body. I said that is one of the only authentic things that still exists inside of the musical, the musical aspect of the culture of hip hop. That it it lends credibility to it because remember they offer a point of reference and they offer balance. I can't listen to that shit all day. I got to go back to Ratchetville. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm gonna say I got to go other places. But I'm going to say I'm it like, one more time. Mm-hmm. There's no higher intellect Facts. on the planet at this time than a freestyle battle rapper because they are qualifying all seven liberal arts simultaneously at once. Okay? Yeah. All seven. You do the knowledge. But I'm coming out with that lecture where I'm going to qualify it. I'm going to show you how the freestyle artist is the illest bar none in regards to what he does. They are going to study this if they're not already studying this in the top science schools and the highest forms of education, the highest forms of liberal art schools are going to study your freestyle artists. They're already studying your hip hop artists. You understand? There's a reason why Jay-Z was inducted and the it's people on them list that he wasn't, he is writing songs in his head. They pay attention to that shit. They know what the fuck that means. All right? Mm-hmm. They know what that means. They know that his mathematics and his arithmetic and his rhetoric and all of that shit is on another level. They not going to tell you this right now. Mm-hmm. They're going to come out 10 or 20 years. They already got the articles. Pull the article They already up. got London the articles Scientific where they telling you, yo, this is the illest shit ever. Said that the hip hop, John, the genre of hip hop is the most, the most influential and in, they said influential important important mu- music in history you they did a history they did a, a they they did a this is top of this is above ivy league they went through all time periods in all musics and they and they so crowned him you got the man to write checks but the hand that don't write facts getting nominated into the songwriter hall of fame they understand something about you, obviously, once again, no surprise, that you don't. The freestyle artist is fucking Illmatic. To stand there for three rounds and bar nigga down off memory, you understand? Using all sorts of the, the similes, the metaphors, the, the, the double untie, all that. You understand? So they're doing what Nikki does, I mean, what, what, what Remy did, what did, or what have you, in real time, in front of their opponent, for three rounds. And not slow draw either. This shit has to be performing art. So they got to be hyperactive. But the, the one, the, energy too. huh? The crowd energy too. In the crowd, they're feeding off the crowd energy. But the artist in particular, this freestyling, that's why Eminem got the motherfucking look that he did. Where they was like, oh. You was freestyling, son? You understand? That's the illest shit ever. Ever. Not no Shakespeare. Not none of that shit. The freestyle artist. Mm-hmm. Okay? So the freestyle battle artist, the one that's doing it in competition? I'm telling you, son. You're going to find out. Yeah, and that, like I said, you saw the night before when they went to the records so they re so they're reigniting these pillars in hip hop now then you saw the DJs come alive they had a sound clash okay especially with Buster they adding that whole Jamaican element to it they had a they had a dub clash but they was playing their own dubs they were playing their own dubs Swiss Beats and Just Blaze that was supposed to have that was supposed to it broke the internet but that was supposed to go into the next day, and, and they were supposed to ride that wave. And then Nicki came with the freestyling. Uh, Remy came with the freestyling uh, response to Nicki's attack from the day before. So we're talking about competition, right? So being something that people are going to pay attention to. Don't get mad at us, because we're talking about it. You understand? We have the right to build on whatever we... We, we spoke about Trump. We did Trump already. Okay. We spoke yeah. about whatever else we need to speak about. Like, yeah. God damn it, we can't talk about some hip hop. This is Sunday. Let's give okay. Us, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so, and for everybody that's going to ask in the chat room who was the girl at the beginning, please tell her who it is. 
Because <laughs> I, I don't want that to cloud the comments. Right. <laughs> uh, Crystal. Crystal, in the name of the song, is Apple. Remy Ma on the remix. It. We're working right. on it. We're working right. on Remy so, on the remix. If any young girl okay. got saved and she got hashtag woke, this weekend's combination of maybe watching my song on Funk Flex go all the way in, then listening to the Remy thing and then going to watch Get Out and probably came to the Phil Valentine lecture or saw the stream. You understand? And then ran across yeah. the chest freestyling at Red Pills lecture and show off freestyling. That's a good combo for the week. That's a that's a starter pack. A uh, woke starter pack that, you know what I mean? That shit works. So if she's helping to emancipate the mind state of a young woman who was thinking about turning her body into an ATM because the girl who was hashtag winning was the one who was advocating that amongst other things, the men, the Not people. Not even about that life. Yeah. So, you know, Remy Ma has casted an example about being a responsible black queen, a goddess. She has a husband, a brother, okay, and they have a family, and she was a part of a reality show, and their frequency was so high that they not only quelled all of the fuckery, but they made that shit unattractive. Niggas was like, I don't even want to see these storylines anymore. You know what I mean? You old Facts. creep squad niggas is late. You niggas is lame. Look at Papoose and his wife. What's the problem? This is black love. For who cares about how many albums she sold? Who cares? She's winning. She's an underdog. She came home and you bird ass bitches and you go ahead and you take what was built for you and you niggas don't give back. It's death to all of you niggas. That's what this motherfucker is symbolizing. Those are the start. That's the alignment. That's what it translates to. That your days are over. The fuck shit has to stop. The plastic shit has to stop. The fake shit has to stop. The the You know what I mean? You making men want to be just like you. That shit got to stop. Rent me would make a nigga want to be a man again okay all right and actually like a woman okay how y'all got dudes around y'all that don't even like you doesn't make sense so we have to know we live in this confrontational age right now in this era Thanks to that energy that's coming out of the Oval Office, that duality, that twinning energy. Twinning is also competition. Twinning is two people and it has to still be one. Okay? That twinning is still duality. It's protagonist, antagonist, and things of that nature. We live in a Trump era. Everything is on the table to discuss now. Because we got to get away from the fuck shit to get to the real things. Because that's the only conversation worth having right now. So like I said... I'm riding with prototypes and archetypes of healthy relationships. I'm riding with prototypes and archetypes of people who are the proverbial underdogs who are on their come up and who are just trying to create a way and do right for their people. And they not on some bed wenching, boot licking, coon shit. Not to say that any either one of those artists were, but you know. I feel that the sister and the brother, they for the people, and that's all that matters right now. Nothing else matters. There's no fence riding. We ain't trying to figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you for your people? Or are you not? In your bars, I better hear that. You better flood the motherfucking airways yeah. with some shit to empower your people. Like, Speak some sense. You know what I mean? You know, lead people in a better direction. Ironically, mm -hmm. Didn't this shit transpire right after Malcolm X's assassination? It and Nikki sure motherfucking did. violated? She did. And niggas and sat back and they was like, watch, bitch. You know what I'm saying? You're going to pay for that. Facts. You're going to pay for that. When I saw the okay. cover, I was like, oh, nah, that's that Malcolm X juju. That's that get back. You understand? That's that get back. I knew that was coming. And who but not a Remy Ma and a Pat Poos? He's, he's street conscious. He's militant. She has a woke conscious brother, a king, by her side. So, you know, that goes back into the whole thing about chess, the game of life. That if wife is a thought, guess what, nigga? You not a king on that chess board. It's all about the two of you. How thorough was the team? And she got paired up. And they got paired up, you know, and, you know, she hasn't found her king as of yet to play that game of life with. Remy, she's riding out on the board. She obviously found the one that's riding with her. He put the ring on the finger to make that shit official. So they riding. So you can't hate on that. I watch back. I, I sit back. I like to see her winning. 
She she rehabilitated. You know, she's trying to do better. All of us been through our trials and tribulations. I'm not judging. You feel me? She did her time. They took her weave, man. Did you hear her? Did you hear what she said? That shit, that was a scary part of the ride. I'm like, oh shit, I rewinded that. She was like, brace to the back. State greens. I'm like, fuck. The struggle. Yeah. Yeah. So, so love we, and light, man. We gotta wrap it up. I wanna, I wanna close it out by saying, did you see Just Blaze's face when Swiss played that Nas, Jay Z, DMX, Jada Kiss song? Yo, he was looking for room in that crate that he was going through. <laughs> like, yo, can I Airbnb in this shit? Today? Yo, wait, Swiss threw that on. Fuck that weak shit, nigga. This that street shit. Yo, when he threw that on, oh my, yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was yo. crazy. He thought, because I see him calculating, like, all right, I'm going to throw on. Right there, I'm going to throw on Jay Electronica. I'm going to close out with per, uh, fellow Americans. Yeah. I'm like, P you PSA. Too late, PSA. When shit was starting to go down, he was supposed to throw that. <laughs> it didn't line it up. Then he thought Swiss was going to come with, all right, this nigga didn't play um, uh, DMX. Um, you know what I'm saying? He didn't play. Uh, outside, outside. So then that nigga threw the, the unreleased shit. Wait till Where that was your unreleased so J Electronica at, shit, family? Yeah. Wait till that whole Where's track the come out. You don't got nothing on the new thrones, uh, nigga? You can Can we start a hip-hop petition to hear that track? God <laughs> damn, that shit did something for my fucking DNA. Like, whoop! <laughs> God damn. New York gonna be on fire this summer. No, no, no. We signing out, family. All right. Red Peace. and blue, purple, like, Prince. Prince. Oh, hold up. Support that real. All right? Support that real. Shout out to Brother Rich for the millions of spins on these songs right here. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Shout out to King Simon for and the for opportunity everybody else to, is, uh, yes. to put that thing down. To put that thing down. All right. Shout Look out for Dr. Phil Valentine for requesting it. <laughs> yeah. We taking this show on the road. But we need this to get into the millions. This is a summer album right here. You feel me? So we going to keep cooking. Peace. Peace. Peace, peace, family. This is Brother Rich from UGR, urging all my viewers and subscribers to help support the channel by donating just $1 to the UGR PayPal account. We appreciate the viewership and support, and we understand the power of a dollar. If you benefit in any way, shape, or form, we ask that you donate a dollar, whether it be monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly, or yearly, so that we can build our brand to compete with the NBCs, the MTVs, and the Foxes of the world. I figure since Kanye could ask Mark Zuckerberg for one billion, I could ask my subscribers to donate one dollar so I could make the best possible content possible. The main objective of this channel is to inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. So hopefully throughout the years of you watching this program, you have been inspired to become the greatest version of yourself. If you would like to donate, you could go to www.paypal.com and send a donation to richandmerit7 at yahoo.com. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your program. A few red apples falling from the same tree. They're all wondering why one skin is green cause I can't put no coins in your cup cause I'm still trying to work my way up and never meant to show you no love But this can't be about you, this can be about you You gotta let me go, gotta let this bird flow Make it fast, not slow, it's the path I chose Feel it in my soul and I'm so thankful Oh, 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 oh You gotta let me go, gotta let this bird flow Make it fast, not slow, it's the path I chose Feel it in my soul We can't eat, this just can't be about you This can't be about you